Alright, between like this episode and last, I like made a. No, I didn't make. No, I was like just checking out like, all the ingredients, like for how good they are, and like making elixirs and making like a list for like food and cooking things. Mostly because I noticed a really interesting thing, which was in the Compodium. Because I took some more pictures for the Compodium. Like, of like the items in my inventory. Like, I added like a few more just around the shrine. But one of the things I noticed, which was really, which will come in real handy probably, is, um,. Also, it turns out I've been mispronouncing these. It's Rush Room, not Rust. I thought it was Rust. But yeah, it's interesting, is the cooking thing. But yeah, I noticed like this makes an obscenely large cooking effect. So I can make a really long lasting speed boost potion with it. But yeah, I added like a few more of the items. But yeah, I also got like a recom um, recommendation of a duplicating glitch, so we can technically duplicate the um, the horn if we want, so I can have more horns to make potions with. Also, this really is useless for cooking. Like it was all like it said it can be used in cooking. It doesn't do anything. And the interesting part is as well with the book. Like it was like. The way that it, like, Apple is worth, like, 30 extra time on, like, the effects. And the interesting part is the Compodium doesn't, like, show this shit. Because, as you can see, it just says no cooking effect. But, like, if you go with Golden, um, Golden Apple, like, it's, like, for, um, 20 seconds extra effect duration. But that's on top of the apple duration, so it's actually 50 um, effect duration from a golden apple. But yeah, it's harder for elixirs to get the thing right. I'm not entirely sure if I did get like the numbers right for elixirs. For the simple fact, you can't just cook like the base ingredient by itself. It has to be cooked with something. But yeah, what was the way you do this? So yeah, the way you do this, I think, is you... Do you need the shield out when you do it? Yeah, that's how you do it. So you put the shield out. Jump A. Then you need to have the item you want to duplicate... Is it the end or the right? I think it's the it has to be in the right hand slot. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, that consumed the Octorok. I did it wrong. Oh no. I did it right. But it did consume the Octorok tentacle. So yeah, you need your item which you want to... You need one item next to the item you want to duplicate. And the one you have to duplicate has to be at the end. And then you put the two which you want to duplicate. If I didn't have, like, this rock on it, I could actually, like... Um, it would actually start shield slide surfing with that, but... Unfortunately, this uses durability of the shield, but... It's fucking worth it for that 30 effect duration. I'm only going to really use this for the potions because running speed is just stupidly slow in this game for no reason.
and you have to put it at the end because like as you can see the octorock tentacle isn't getting consumed because the ten um the item which you're duplicating um just uh steals items from the one to the um to the left of it so like it's stealing the tentacle but since the tentacle's in our hand it still drops it <laughs> I was wondering whether to do this originally, but I decided it was worth the risk. It's not a risk at all, but... I just want to get, like, elixirs. By the time I actually need this for, like, grit fairies, like, for, like, the fairy items, it's gonna be, like, kinda useless. I feel like I should probably just keep cloning the horns until... Uh, problem is though, it is a bit of a pain. Because, like I said, you have to make sure that it is on the right. Like if you have a bunch of one cost things, then you could do it then you can do it like you can do it multiple times. Have we got anything else that we have one of? Yeah, we've got an Octorock balloon as well. <laughs> You can only get up to about 21. Before they start despawning. But yeah, we'll just make a bunch of them so we can make a bunch of speed potions. Is a rock broken? No, a rock's still there. Alright, uh... Whoops. <laughs> okay, we can only do this a few more times. And I'll use them all in elixir so I, it's not like. So I, I'm not gonna cheat like these shrines, I'm just gonna use them for elixirs. No, for item upgrades. And by the time I can use them for item upgrades, it'll probably be fixed. <laughs> also, this thing is a fucking lie. It's like, oh, a highly valued elixir ingredient. It's worth the same as, like, a Benoblin horn of 40. I assume that it has a higher proc chance, which is why it says highly valued, because it does not give much duration. And the proc seems to have, like, just a random effect of, like, giving 3 to 5 hearts, increasing the, like, power level of the enchantment, like, you know, like, there's low, medium, and probably high. Uh, increasing the duration by five minutes. Um, and I think it might be able to give you stamina as well. Oh. So there we are, we now we've got a bunch of Farakhorns. I'm not going to attach them to weapons either, they're just going to be used for like elixirs. But yeah, I want to get more ingredients so I can, like, fill out my list thing more. Even though I'll never really be able to post it. Since I have, like, no way to record my tablet. And I have no... What? Oh yeah, we already did... <laughs> nice, because we did the puzzle before I entered the shrine, there's no puzzle in here. A 
big battery. A kind of useless item that destroys itself for no fucking reason. The Shrine of Light, which is imprisoned us. It purifies the evil. You have done well to reach this place. <laughs> we offer you the light that cleanses the corruption. <laughs> The hand is so bulky. Cats can have a little corruption. A little corruption is okay for cats. Oh yeah, we can finally upgrade our stamina or health. I still don't know which one I want to do. It also turned out there was a bug in Breath of the Wild that allowed you to sprint infinitely. I'm so sad it's not in this game. I can really use with that fucking sprint. I'm so fucking slow. But yeah, we can make like 35 minute um, speed boost potions with the them horns, which is going to be so useful. Now the question is, though, where the fuck are we going now? We picked up the Shrine of Courage quest. Oh, it was over here where it wanted me to go. Well, if we can get the tower in this region, that would be useful, but I need height to be able to see that. Maybe I can, like, use Ascend to get up this hill? I also tried to look into the, um, the thing about, like, why that boss isn't respawning. I couldn't find anything. But I did find other people who were having the same problem. I'm going to assume it is why I thought that, it's, that it requires you to... The item on the sword is stopping it respawning. What? It's not raining, is it? It's not raining. Why the fuck am I slipping? That's bullshit. The game... Like, the weather says it's sunny. Can I at least get the fucking shroom? Knowing we have to make anti slip potion level three. Is it still raining? I can't see. Doesn't seem to be. It was just that one spot. Wait, is this a reversible? Nah, it looks like it's stuck to the cliffside. What that? The Coblin Camp. Is that a shrine? Nah, it would be glowing if it was a shrine. Wouldn't it? I also found a really funny thing which you can do with the Ascend ability, which I have to do. Hey, this looks like an Ascend. This one looks like it might not be stuck. Probably is, though. Yeah, it's stuck. Mm -hmm. I find it weird that, like, reverse actually pauses time. It's, like, the only one that does it. Uh, this might... This looks like it might be a bit far. Hopefully we have a little bit of stun on my food. Yeah, it's not that far. Also, it was interesting, like, you can only, like, you know, they said with the cooking, you can only have one effect on. Turns out that stanima is an effect. So you can't have, like, stanima boost and shit and, um, stuff that, like, actually does, like, a movement thing. Alright, let's, 
I also managed to actually cap out all the uh, foods while we were doing uh, that you can make, which I didn't know was actually possible. I don't know why it does like a, like I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a quarter, but it's less than a quarter. It'd be nice if I didn't have to eat the other stand of my food. Hopefully we can stop here. Do we have any speed boost potions? Ah, shit, I was hoping that was flat enough. The green will definitely be flat enough. That's the reason why the prompt, why the ESN doesn't work. You have to be standing still. I also found out that shrine, where like the stupid like thing was going across the ledge. I can use ascend on that. It just was bugging out for me and wasn't working. But there's also nothing up there anyway, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> This looks flat enough to stand on. It was not flat enough to stand on. But it was flat enough for me to get regain my stanima on. Oh, Billy Bird. Duck, they all left. I could have got a picture of them. The birds are kind of a pain in the ass to get a picture of. You know, grab the cliff. Pretty sure this is flat enough. No, it's not flat enough to exactly stand on, but it's flat enough to regain my stamina on. <laughs> This looks like it might not be, but I'm gonna have to. <laughs> That's interesting. Like, if you try and do cancel, um, dash, it actually uses stanima. I'm gonna call it cancel dash, because, like, I'm just clicking a B so I don't grab. Hmm. Could really actually do with a bit more stamina. Looks like there's a little ledge here. How close to the top are we? I think we're fairly close. Oh no, that's actually a small ash ledge, but we can probably stand on it if I can only get onto it. Without losing all my stamina. Okay, I can actually just stand on it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with stamina wheel next, even though I really need the health. <laughs> Just to make like traversal a bit quicker. I think we've only got four more layers to go up. Mm -hmm. I was also tempted to re duplicate star, but I really should because they're such a pain in the ass to get. You know what time it is. It's rewind time! Oh, there's two of them. Is it not gonna reverse?
Okay, I guess they're not reversible. Depends how far Ascend reaches. Well, I would say that Ascend should be able to reach that Sky Island, but... I guess the game does not agree. Hey, we can make an actual vehicle. I don't think you can fly up with that thing, though. Oh, shit. Do I just need to shoot that? <laughs> First try. What the fuck does it want me to use? I think maybe it wants me to glide over to it. No? Leaving the platform causes it to leak vanish. Okay, no. It is just glide over to it. If I just grab this, can I... Do they turn on? Yep. I have no fucking energy though, so... I'm not flying up. <laughs> I'm just flying over here because this is... About as far as I can go. Oh wait, I forgot it has... It can just retain its flight. Uh, so which tower are we heading towards? It's not that one. It's the tower over this way. Okay, so we can just see it. What? Yeah, I can. Don't be stupid. Of course I can place a pin there. If we had battery, this would be so much better, though. Honestly, it might be a good idea to actually just remove one of the pins for the simple fact that we just don't have the energy. I've heard that shaking the remote can also remove these. It has no effect. Probably because I removed the ability for motion controls. But yeah, I think we'll put one fan on instead, just because um, we have no energy. Like, currently we still have only one battery. Even though everyone else needs to already have a fucking second battery. Can't start yet. What's that? Uh oh. And it's taken off well, me. <laughs> Wow. 
Wait a second. If it's not too far away, I can probably use rewind time on it. Well, there's a camp down there. Oh, there's also a shrine down here. <laughs> I actually got a wild stu uh, stun mushroom. You only have one on the floor. Uh, we can't actually get there, but it's too high up now. Until I can make myself maybe a flying machine. It's so annoying, I'd like to explore the Underdark more, but we need more stamina. No, we need more health, I mean. I suppose if we get enough uh, Sunderlines, we can do it. Oh, it's a combat shrine. Fuck. Uh, this might be hard. Are you new? Or is you just a normal guy? He's got a fire rod! Shrine purifies ancient evil. You stand up and heed my instructions. You can reflect projectiles if you parry your shield at just the right time. Turn them enemy attack against them. Your attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. I do like the fact that these tutorials... Maybe that's... This is actually how you were supposed to learn how to beat... Um, Ganon, like... Uh, Calamity Ganon in the original, like, Breath of the Wild. Maybe there was a shrine which told you about the shield parry, like, perfect parry time. Like, this is where, like, you required it to beat the final boss, but I just never found that shrine, so I just didn't know about it. That's actually kind of useful. You bastard! You can't just have two of them at once. Ah, uh, what the fuck? What if you don't have a shield that require that I can deflect that? Oh, I don't remember what shield this is. Like, how am I meant to know what shield this is? Because, like, it could have a metal shield behind it. There we are, this one definitely isn't metal. <laughs> well, now I have to swap back to metal because of, like, my wood shield will burn. Okay, training construct actually fucking counts as a different construct. That's bad. <laughs> Thank fuck I decided to, um... Unfortunately, these fireballs are not very accurate. <laughs> You've proven your mastery of and now pursue to the innermost chamber. I can actually use that, I think, quite often, because that's actually quite easy to do. Well, actually, mostly because they're shooting, like, slow-ass moving fireballs, so I can probably deflect arrows pretty easily. Uh, which type of rod do we have? I have an electric rod. I really need to find the Korok as well. Like, I'd like to have a fire rod, but... I just don't have... Ooh, but it is isn't—it is actually a powered-up fire rod as well. I 
but we just don't have anything to use on it. Also, I think that possibly throwing in, like, a decayed weapon into an Octorok might turn it into a normal version of the weapon, so it'll no longer be decayed. This shrine was actually really good, that we found it. So now we've learned a powerful move. Ooh, another Zonai shield. Actually, I don't know if a Zonai um, equipment actually is um, ele electrifiable. Goofy ha moment. <laughs> Could just jump into that pool of water. Or rather, that pool of water. You're a little frozen. Switch vital poem that well uh, goes on the side. Cook it in a dish to give your speed increase. Oh yeah, if it goes swimming, that actually costs stamina though. That's kind of really a problem, especially as I keep fucking using more stamina because I keep clicking jump to go, you know, jump off. <laughs> Huh? A fish. Got Stanmara Bass, which actually is insane. Stanmara Bass, I think, actually gives you a full Stanima bar when cooked. What do want me to do with this? Oh. I probably can't pull it out myself. I need something to attach it to to pull it out. Oh god, the, the current is too strong. I wonder, if I stand still, does it use Stanima? No, it doesn't. Can I just grab the Stamara Bass? I cannot. You know what I can do, though? That was a mistake. I'm surprised I didn't fucking kill myself with that. <laughs> Oh yeah! Mm -hmm. Attach that to pull it out. If I need Zonai devices, I probably don't have enough power to pull it out. Yep. Some warm requirements, full of nutrients, cookers, recovers more hearts when cooked. Oh, there we are, there's something to attach it to.
Well, it probably wouldn't reach, but... Really? I'm gonna hope that it doesn't unstick from this, but it probably will. I'm gonna try and do the same thing that we did with that. Reverse probably just doesn't work, which is a shame. Yeah, reverse doesn't work. I can probably do it with just a fan anyway. We don't have a rocket, we have to use a fan. Hopefully one fan is enough. Oh, maybe just a horse in general would be fine. If I just attach the fan to the thing, would that be enough? <laughs> yeah. I'm so fucking glad that doesn't electrocute myself. But yeah, I think we need an actual horse to pull this out. Um, we also need arrows anyway. We need to find some goblins with arrows to get more arrows. Um, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, marking the map so that we can find where this Korok seed is later. Okay, we can you still use the car. Is that a different type of key? You know what they say though? What's the dog doing? Hmm? You bastard. Hmm? What the dog doing? Hmm?
Hello there, Traveller. Aren't you... But I guess that you travel anywhere, one way or another. You haven't by chance heard of the legendary pumpkin, have you? Legendary pumpkin? Aww. So you don't know. Of course, why would you? Be, it might look any different today. We might that deep in the forest somewhere, there's a legendary pumpkin called the Master Gourd. Scorn belongs to the gourds. I've heard that the flavour was powerful enough to defend against any monster, no matter how strong its stomach. Mm. But everyone I ask about it looks at me like I'm talk, uh, talking nonsense. Maybe I'm fed some bad info. Ah. I haven't seen a mug, your mug before. You new around here? Listen, I got a proposal for you. It involves taking care of some no good pirates. What do you say? Feeling brave? Haha, ah. ah. <laughs> I'm only kidding. A skin that looked like you wouldn't be would be a goner before you got out your sword. Oh. The pirates I'm talking about, they're nasty lot, nasty characters attacking the Rara village on the south coast of here. The place was my home until the pirates forced me out. Mm. A peaceful village, blessed by the sea. That's what it used to be. Oh, a well is one of the things I need to get a picture of. Never would have thought that was one. <laughs> Whoa, I no clip through the fence. A rare goat. No, they're all white. <laughs> Hello, looks like someone good spirits. Oh. Believe it, the zone I ruins even in the sky. After the upheaval, several ruins suddenly appeared in there. If I could sprout wings, I'd fly up to the sky and go investigate right away. Hello! Hey, hey there! Are you a fellow traveller on a journey of life? I'm Breedle, if you forget my beetle-shaped pack pack, I'm right here to remind you. In the tipsy turvy world, there is only one direction to go forward, so when I travel, it's forward all the way. I can sell you bugs of the highest quality, and if you need anything else on your life's journey, I can sell that too. Short on rupees? Don't worry, I'll buy anything You don't wait, that doesn't weigh <laughs> you down. And what's better way of lighting up than selling your rocks, gemstones in particular? Fetch a higher, fetch a high price. Ah, ah. Why don't you have a high price for bugs? What you got? What you selling? Woohoo! All right. Oh, he sells horns. Now this is mine, isn't it? This has to be mine. Yeah. There's no way that he'd sell these. Uh, they sell for 300 each. I thought we wanted gemstones. Oh, there we are. That's because I was too low down. But yeah, my horns sell for more than the gemstones. I'm going to have to sell items eventually because... I'm just not getting rupees from anything else. <laughs> Is that actually worthwhile? So that's five arrows. For f yeah, that is just the same price. I kind of need to buy arrows though. <laughs> But I can also just farm arrows by finding an archer enemy and just dodging their attacks. As long as they just shoot regular arrows. I'm too greedy. I have to keep my power. Hello, is there anyone in here? A recipe? We've come up with a new recipe. Mm -hmm. This is Lucky Cover Grazing Cover Edition. What's the news? Mm -hmm. Great fairy flees into flower blood. Yikes, that doesn't sound good at all. Great fairy is known for her love of music, has 
hidden herself away in a bud near the woodland stable in a panic. I heard a magical troop has headed to the El Eldwin to the east, northeast. I wonder if they plan to visit the woodland stable. I bet there's a lot going on there too. <sighs> Plus there's a rumor about a great fairy somewhere offering blessings to travelers, visiting travelers. Hope the great fairy near here emerges someday. <sighs> Other stories? Ah. Blood Moon brings dangerous nights. Be wary, dear readers, of the nights where the Blood Moon rises to do monsters that have been defeated. <sighs> It reminds me of the researcher who studied the Blood Moon before. There's an excellent visit the monster fort and see what it could learn about the monsters and the Blood Moon. But they didn't seem that physically strong. I hope they're doing okay. Mm. Mm. Amazing how much you can learn from just reading the words on the paper. All thanks to Lucky Clover Gazette. It doesn't seem they're short staffed. Could it be a journalist here? Okay, is this the. No, this isn't the stable. I'll probably I'll forget her information that she just told me. And I will I'll hopefully we'll just find the fairy ourselves. Working process, do not touch. Ah Welcome to the stable. We deal in all horse related things. We double as an in. Hmm, you seem to be not a member yet. Oh. Our stable uses a stable association membership system, so you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I register your name? Oh. Long. All right, Mr. Link. There. You sign right up. Now, what would you like uh, to tell you about the stable? Tell me. Ah. Allow me to explain. You can board your you can board your horse companions with us and summon them as you please from the network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. Oh. If you catch one and ride it here, I'll register it. It'll become your uh, your horse companion. There's no limit to how many horse. Oh, there is a limit to how many horses you can board, but you're able to swap them in and out as you please. Ah. Once again, welcome to our stables. Would you like to lodge with us? A regular bed or a thing? What do the beds oh. even do? If you sleep in a marron bed, not only will you wake up more energized, the horse god may. Um, also share a mystical message that makes uh, it very popular among the among the patrons. But we offer such luxury to just anyone. Only customers with at least seven pony points can get this bed. Then why the fuck are you offering it then? Oh. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain pony points. Ah. That's right, it's a reward system you can uh, you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a surface, you get a point. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering horses and stuff like that. Now for the fun part, because uh, this is your first time here at uh, Julian Pike Stables. You got a pony point. No, I got two pony points. Oh no, I got one pony point, but it says if I get three, then I get like something powerful. Silver pony points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for your horse companions. What the dog doing? Ah. You can trade your pony points for a prize at the lodger counter over there. Check out the lodger prizes for details, member rules, and other information. Oh. Come back anytime. Oh yes, I'll be right with you. Ah. Uh, I like... Yeah, you'd like to get your pony point rewards? Save up two more points. Uh, You'll receive a... Towing harness. Very useful. You can use it to hook up onto your horse to various things. We appreciate your patronage. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? <laughs> so it contains member information for those who registered at the Sable Association. What would you like to read? Okay, I don't need either of these. What is the dog doing? <laughs> so we actually need to get like more points anyway if we want to even drag the um drag the car carriage. Oh yeah, I forgot to take a picture of a horse. I think it just moved onto the horse just to annoy me.
doesn't matter which horse it's on. Should probably get a horse just so we can move at a decent speed. But we need more arrows, so we're gonna fight these enemies. It's gonna go bad. As it always does. Yeah, water. A battery. Damage, severe damage, yeah, mid hazard. Especially for horses. Yeah, it's still possible to cross quite easily. Yeah. Well, you saw seem enthusiastic about something. I head in this way too, buddy. Oh. To get to Jeweled Peak Stables, you should actually cross the bridge here. I'm sorry to say, but it's been destroyed. Something fell on top of it. There's a dis disaster measure in this place, but they're far from perfect. But extra careful when you cross here. Imagine being one of these and just not caring about people crossing your bridge. Oh fuck, he's got a stick. Mm. I was pressing the wrong button, I was trying to jump. Mate, just target it. Mm. You're dead. <laughs> Oh shit, you got flat electric arrows! Mm -hmm. I can't use those. Probably could have actually just used a send in the middle of the cliff there. More to Mars. Oh, bird. Can't stealth though while using the camera. That's bullshit. I don't know how I'm going to actually get the birds then. Like, the bird was lit up there. Alright, the Great Fairy was here. It lied. Uh, we don't actually have any arrows. What that? Birds. Should probably grab the crickets though. Wait, can we use the camera wall still? So as long as we don't. Oh no. Regular fish. No, I want the Stanima fish. <laughs> nice 
room. Like, we can use these fish as a full stamina recovery. At least currently. So we might as well grab them, like, when we see them. Or rather, electrocute the water so we can grab them. <laughs> Any calling upon me from out there? All in ugliness. You must be some monster of some kind. As if I'd give my blessed clove and enchantments to one of you. I moved near the stable here so I could give my blessings to travellers. I suppose if I heard something truly rousing, like a sound of a drum, I'd be inspired to come outside, but only maybe. I don't know what it wants. I'm not even going to move to climb the tree, am I? Sound of a drum. What the fuck could that mean? Be nice if I could aim my fucking electric attack. Might as well mark the Great Fairy though, so we can find it later. It needs a symbol though for it, I don't know, that doesn't seem right. I've got a chest there, that will work, hopefully. It's all false. Probably blue. It is not blue. <laughs> Imagine just being able to hit that hard. I could never do it. Get wrecked, bitch. <laughs> the soft tails are actually the strongest ingredient we currently have, other than the horn. So I've heard that axes can actually just break these crates. How am I going to get the horses without startling them?
Hopefully horse hooves count as a drum like sound. Okay, they can't cross that. No, that was a mistake. Okay, it's remain tamed anyway. Oh! A traveler from Jewel Peak Stables, right at the foot of Jewel Peaks. If you need to go from road, I'm here to let you know mm. what happens. Things have changed around here, haven't they? Even the towns are different. There's a lot. Have changed around here. Koroka Village, Hento, um, Hato Village, in particular. Oh, Koroka Village, the Shiga Village, to the north. It used to be a quiet town. That's all changed when the sudden ring-shaped Zonai ruins fell from the sky. Now it's crowded with both research and tourists. Ah. Do we protect the old or embrace the new? Koroka Village and Hato is interchange. Ah, Hatorino Village is on the edge of Hyrule, far east. It used to be known as the primary force Stormoths of Milk. It is local produced. Then, out of nowhere, a woman from the clone shops became a famous designer. Now the town has become the centre of fashion, of all yeah. things. If you're looking for something special, I recommend visiting Jewel Peak Stone Statue. There's no road to the summit, so it's no easy trek. But the view of Hyrule at the top is truly wonderful. This guy up front, he stops me targeting. Mm. Oh. Welcome to the stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, I'll register it. Please visit the inside oh. counter. Now, can I help you? Register horse. Ah. Understood. If you want to register, oh. huh? According to the books, you, uh, you entrusted a horse to us before, once before. Let's go ahead and register. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and register any horse that you, uh, had the name on it. Come talk to me later if you can. Co then now then once again. If you want to register this horse here. Oh, they have pull strength. It has strong pull strength though, which is quite good. Does not have good speed or stamina, but we'll register it. Ah. Normally when you register a horse, it will be 20 rupees. We've got a special promotion going right now, so you can register your first horse for free. Oh. Since you registered a new horse, here's a pony point. Well then, I'll move on to the register process. First enter the horse's name. I don't know. We'll call it Paul because I have no name. It said that I had a horse already registered, so I'm hoping ah. I can just use that. Your horse is safe with us, thanks for using ah. the stable. The drawing on the stables have gotten out of hand, haven't they? I'm sorry about that, no matter how many times I scored them, these sons of mine just don't listen. Mm. If you ask them, they'll tell, uh, tell you they saw some big footprints, the likes of which no one has ever seen. I swear I've never stopped being surprised by these things my kids can imagine. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Wait, I get to keep the horses from my previous game? I got epicness! Fuck yeah! <laughs> you actually get to keep your horses oh. from Breath of the Wild from Breath of the Wild. <sighs> if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle for it to come run in. But the horse isn't magic, it can't hear you if you're too far away, so don't to do keep ah. that in mind. Come back any time. Oh my god, we've got fucking epic nurse! <laughs> Shame that the Breath of the Wild horses have no fucking um, new stats, though. This thing should have fucking insane pull strength, and it doesn't. What 
that. Mm. It's a fan. Problem is, though, getting the horse over the river might be a problem. Can you get over the river? I guess I might have to make my own bridge. I can make a bridge for the horse and that will get over. There. Like I'm hoping that horse uh, footsteps will count as a drum-like sound. Oh god, that did not connect correctly, I don't think. No, it's just a very short line. Which is a problem, because I need the planks to be thick. This is not going to be long enough. Might be able to force it over the other bridge. Oh yeah, we haven't actually got a fire with room. Registered, have we? <laughs> Could deflect this attack back at it. Can't deflect that one though. Could also get a fire key though from there. What are you doing? You're acting a little sus. A little among us. Fire key's eye. An eyeball imbued with the heat. Use it when vacant elixirs attach one to the arrow and grant it a home and quality. <laughs> you bastard. Let's hope it's saved recently. We shouldn't have let it cast Cataclysm. Uh, now we unfortunately probably have to take another picture of them. Okay, it might be registered. First try. We'll get our revenge eventually, potentially. It's only a one handed weapon.
Mate, what the fuck's happening? Why is the game bugging out? Oh, we did get a key, are you? Speed boost. We don't want to ride the horse. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah, it does not want to cross that. Such a waste of my speed boost. The whistle is kind, kind of useless for the fact the horses just can't fucking find you at most range. Okay, if we combine both sides, we might be able to make it. Oh. Yeah, I think if we get both sides across, I think we should be able to make it.
problem is it's probably not going to even go over this. So they'll be like, ew, this isn't straight. I can't walk on it. I do not associate with non-straight bridges. <laughs> and then also we've got the problem that the horse probably won't even come when I whistle. Because we're too fucking far away. And then when I go over to retrieve the horse, it will be like, huh? The bridge will be spawned. <laughs> nice, the straightest bridge you've ever seen. It actually worked. Mm -hmm. yep. Come on, you can cross it. You can step on it. Mm -hmm. It's like, ew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your bridge is not straight. I refuse to step on such a thing. Okay, is there actually any way to this island without um, the bridge? Uh, it's a long way. Maybe there's a way to it. Thing is, we're not even sure if this is even the right thing. Maybe if we talk to her again, maybe we'll give me a better clue on what the fuck I need to do. Dazzle, I don't know whether it will like make a noise. Yeah. Like, I just have no clue what to do. Alright, we could try and find a long path to get the horse around. And even then, it might not even work. Ooh, shit, there's actually a goblin camp. I don't want it to go through that. Also, we'll probably die again because, you know... We have no armor. Well, that's the reason we need to open the shrine, though, so that we actually, you know, have some armor so we won't fucking die or everything. Oh, I was unarmed. We we'll use long stick. My long stick. <laughs> oh, 
Oh fuck, he's got a shield. <laughs> Knight's broadsword. Powerful attack set. Um, has powerful attack went down to your last heart. Should have read more of the description, but didn't. Oh no, no! The rain has killed us. We're dead. The rain has fucking killed us. This game should not have rain. Like, rain just shouldn't be in this game because it just makes life fucking hell. And we're dead. Like, what can I do? I can't move now. I'm just going for hope that it gets into shallow enough water. suddenly decide to roll. Okay, we can only get a limited amount of arrows from them. Oh no. Oh shit! <laughs> well, hopefully that's close enough. It was not. <laughs> what the f Oh no! The rain! The rain is fucking us again! <laughs> Now we can use our fucking bomb though. Wait, are these actually one of the enemies that we need a picture of? Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, I actually hit surprisingly light. Mm. Damn, my rocket blade is broken. Once they'll start moving, no, we're not gonna catch them. A boomerang! A massive boomerang! Withered by the decay. It was originally used by a hunter. Of hunting, but it's ch but the challenger wheel throw wh throws well, it comes back to the thrower. Throwing well, it comes back. But if not, then you're fucked. <laughs> Why do they suddenly just decide to move? The thing is, the boomerang can't really be combined with anything. Is there a way to get the horse over here? Because it refuses to walk on my fucking bridge that I made for it. I get wrecked. Can't get up this rock. <laughs> ah. Small ass jump. <laughs> Out. I don't know what could pussy out. Plug that we need a horse for, meaning that we must be able to get a horse here. 
Like, if this exists, that means that the horse must be possible to get over here. Try using the boomerang. Problem is, like, probably not best in forested areas. Okay, it's got rather short range. A bull fango. A bull drone from the hit game Monster Hunter. You bastard, you just lurched, you blew my cover. I don't even know what you are, you're just a choo choo as well. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's try out our fairy. Um, well, we need to drop our shield anyway to repair it. Ow. How close do it need to be, though? Or does it need to be a polished rock? Does it need to be a different type of rock to rock? Yeah, we already got a good enough picture. Yeah, I guess it needs to be a different type of rock to rock. But how the fuck do we get a horse over here then? Boomerang's long weapon. Right. Mm. can be used as a, um... As a, um, woodcutting wo thing. I just don't know how you get a horse over here, because we need a horse to pull the fucking thing, but, like, there's no way to get the horse over here.
Why the fuck are they in the same sneaky sneeze now? I'm not sneaky. I just don't know what to do for the drum. I'll probably look it up. Because, like, we should. Like, it shouldn't be hard, but, like, that's just not something that you can do. But, yeah, I just don't know how to pull the Koroks like that out of the ground. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Hello, Link. <laughs> it's an honor to see you again. Moving on the monster base up ahead, we dug Aww. in once. After the approach, we'll launch and wait right. Um, wait for the right moment to attack. Nothing will make us happier than join us Oi. again. Please join us and bring peace back to the land. Dumb shit. Black, that's why. Uh. Mate, I tried to run. The game wouldn't let me fucking move. I can't even get hit by that again because I will die. I'm dead. Like, there was nothing I could fucking do! The fact they gave him a long stick, I literally couldn't do anything. Oh nice, it would be nice if I could upgrade my armor, you know, not be able to be one shot by fucking every enemy. Oh fucking course, like, at least he doesn't have a long stick this time. Problem is though, I don't have a long stick. Mm. Or do I? Yeah, I don't have a long stick, which is gonna be a problem. I'm dead. Get fucking wrecked. Oh, did you drop your weapon? Mate, that broke at the worst possible time! And give me zero one in either. At least we can still use this.
get wrecked by a boomerang! It always comes back! Mm. Okay, I actually really like the boomerang. <laughs> a vicious three pronged horn. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power and cook it to make an elixir. Still, well, that sword broke at the worst possible time. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna break when, like, the guy's right next to you and you really needed that, um, effect. At least the rest, like, I can have other people help me. Just have to be careful, though. And he's not. to heal technically because of that. Oh shit, I stood, I, that, I'm not gonna die probably. Alright, we need boomerang again because we're getting attacked by a, a black Koopa Nook the Coblin. Damn it, badly damaged. <laughs> Should have kept that. Should have repaired that one. Oh well. So I'll just claim more. Lightweight metal. Um, royal blade is decayed now. It's easy to wield. It consumes less stamina during charge attacks. <laughs> oh, my rocket broke. <laughs> Victory is now ours. Hi. Thank grateful for everything you did. Don't mind if you could come here for a moment. Please give me a lot of rupees, because those were hard enemies. Oh. Another incredible battle. With you on our side, Link, we can take on any threat. Ah, oh, I nearly forgot. Please accept this as a reward for help. I kind of deserve more than that. Oh. Of course, the true battle is yet to come. Have you seen it? Link, the Blood Moon, I mean. When it rises in the sky, the monsters will flood the land and threaten the peace in Hyrule oh. again. My squad members will rest and rebuild their energy to prepare for the return. Oh well. I look forward to fighting by your side again. Hey! No, you fight with the goddess Harley as divine protection, brave swordman. I knew it. Mm -hmm. The spear's too long, though.
now we have a long sword. I combined the sword with another sword. I suppose I could carry the horse over if I can make a raft. Oh, Silent Princess, a lovely flower that's said to have been in favour of the Princess of Hyrule. This was once feared to have gone extinct, but uh, it's not an unwelcome sight when growing in the wild. I dedicate this monument to the memory of the lost souls, up to the Calamity. Yeah, now I have an idea of how to get the horse over the water, but it's not very good. Like, we make, like, a raft with a prison around it, so we force the horse over the water. Or just make something to scoop it over the water with. Okay. <coughs> well, that was the accurate attack I've ever seen. <laughs> Go, go, go. <laughs> but yeah, I literally spent like the entirety of the... Like, I literally, the f first draft of the wild, they're like... <laughs> literally spent like an age getting my stanima like i literally put everything into stanima just so i could get that horse because i found it like right as soon as soon as i left the sky island i found that horse So I got epicness like right away. Monster e extra uh, extract. A result of Cachran's research into monsters, the suspicious spice can be added to pinch up Drew's dishes while cooking. Apparently, it can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. Yeah, we caught it. <laughs> More stanima fish. <laughs> Still wish I could aim my fucking electric balls. <laughs> 
Like, how can whiz robes aim, aim the attack and I can't? Probably have enough height of them anyway. Is it? Could we actually get rupees? <gasps> I don't think you have enough rupees. <laughs> Are rupees something that we need to get a picture of? But they're so fucking rare. Five rupees, shiny, blue, and makes you weak at the knees. It does make you weak at the knees, so rare. Like, I've literally been playing this game for like 12 plus hours, the first rupee we've ever come across. Well, we failed. Got some Hylian rice. It's grown to its favorite among us of Kauri. It's favorite among the residents of Kamuka village. It grows in regions of a lot of water. It's quite versatile and used as an ingredient in a lot of things. I right, we need to read the book. The journal. The entry signs Clalip. Do you want to read it? They're calling the people. Ep name for it, I'd say. Strange ruins fell from the sky upon the plains west of here, and there uh, are reports of splendid mechanical monsters. This sort of thing is happening all over Hyrule, apparently. I'm fortunate uh, that neither nor me or my home have been harmed, but such an event sure have caused major damage elsewhere. The more outlandish rumours suggest that Hyrule Castle has risen into the sky. Rather difficult to credit that one. What could have caused all this? I feel like... The desire to find out the truth welling up inside me. Every seed of visitor, he was a researcher from the outfit and calling themselves the Zonai Surveillance Team. He claimed to be merely passing through the area, but cl clearly had come to draw an exercise. According to his story, large ruins have fallen from Kakarika Village, southwest of the ho this house. People call it the Ring of Ruin. A great name in inquisitory type like me gathers in Kakarika Village to investigate them. I see little choice but to join them without my intellect. They're bound to leap in to the wrong conclusion. A man of history will remember me as the genius Dr. Clip who solved the mystery faster than I could clean my glasses. My propos uh, proportions are complete. Preparations are complete. It is time for me to depart for Kakariko Village. The fo I foresee the day not long when all the members of the survey team address me as with respect and by my proper title. I will n not return to the house until I know by all as Dr. Nay as genius. This area has long been plagued by monsters, so I leave this house in good order as a place of refuge. To travellers who might read this, I have pinned here. Rest well. You're of course welcome to use any things that I left behind. Can I heal? If I sleep, does that heal me? Or does it just change the time of day? <laughs> well, is this just to change the time of day, or can I actually heal by just sleeping? <sighs> yeah, I can heal by sleeping. Okay, that's good.
What that? It's a Korok. As long as we stay on this side of the wall, we should be safe. I miss my boomerang. Where do you take in? Oh, my friend and I got separated. They're just on the other side of the river, okay. Smoke people. Can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, I can't move. Bullshit! That was a picture of the bird, and you saw it, like, accept it as the bird. These birds fucking suck, I don't know how to stop them. I might be able to use reverse on them, hopefully. Like, that is literally my only chance that I can do it. Right, we'll see if we can use reverse on them next time we find a bird. long enough. I think. I just need one more. Honestly, the wheels might actually be a problem. No, it's long enough. Not if we can get our horse to work. Be nice if we could just kill them from a range, but we can't. You want to tussle? Then let's tussle. The word. Mm. 
It's not gonna have the water on it. Okay, good. I get smacked the fuck up. Mm. Huh? That's not where he was shooting from though. Like we didn't like how did we get hit by a water bubble when like it wasn't where he was shooting from? Okay, it's actually very hard to block arrows. I should actually kill myself, like, what is the point? Oh, it doesn't even deflect arrows, because funny. Like, it's like, almost impossible to do, and yet you get literally no reward for doing so. HURRY UP! to make a new axe soon. TM. We have a soldier's claymore to attach to a soldier's claymore. <laughs> Fruit. A fruit from a palm tree, it grows near the ocean. It does not offer any special effects, but increase the half recovery rate when using its ingredient. Fuck, I didn't mean to pick up the one. Damn, didn't mean to swing through the other one. Yes. Better question is why can't you fucking burn down these towers? Yep. Yeah, it looks like a new weapon. A long blade, not cut. Yeah, that no longer cuts as well as it once did due to the decay on the edge. However, the wielded by a proficient fighter, it cleaves the wind and creates vacuums.
that's not gonna work. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Bye. Hello. What's wrong? Why didn't it do it right? Why can't I throw the bomb? Why is it got to be dropped? No doubt it didn't save the Korok, but Korok seed. It fortunately, I think, did. Small shield with an eye design on it. That makes no sense though. How's it got like the same defense as my other shield? Like, how's it got the exact same shit defense as the other mind's eye shield? I have no weapon for you now, though. I have no axe, so I can't actually kill it. Welcome, all bluebirds. Wait, we still have time. We cannot use reverse on them, so I have no clue how we're meant to stop these birds.
Use that. I kind of like my concert bow more. Hidden that tower over there, or is it not? Yeah, that is the tower I'm heading towards. Might as well just use a one time. <laughs> my time, not much time to grab it. <laughs> Made a little bit of progress towards the tower. <laughs> Yay, our favorite mechanic, fucking rain. I have to climb up a fucking cliff so I can't get up there. <laughs> oh, I did have a picture on Mike Fizzle, but it was clipped into the f cliff before. I had a shining noise. What's that? Uh, that's just a guy holding a sign. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's a waterfall. I wish it sounded a bit more effective. <laughs> 
Mate, just grab the fucking wall, it's not hard. Gourmet meat, prize cut of meat, usually from a large animal or any con consider the rank tender, juicy is a gourmet, especially in squids of meat among like this. Wait, what? Oh, okay, it's over there, according to this. this cliff then there is a tower up here maybe the other cliff just mark maybe I marked the wrong place because of the angle Oh fuck, a black cookie cobblin. Why is it a black cookie cobblin? Should've eaten the meat instead. Okay, great, great, great. Mm. Still locked, still locked! Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and we've got rain as well, making it even worse. That means that we literally can't fight the fucking tree. And there's another one. stronger weapon. Oh, it's a long weapon. I didn't know this was a big weapon. At least not very accurate. Mm. Oh fuck, he's got a stick now. Mm. That probably triples his attack power. <laughs> See? Triples his fucking attack power! Like, the weakest weapon in the game triples his attack power. Those trees caused massive problems because we lost our axe. We need to make another axe. Where is this? I don't remember this place. This is Moonglade. Where the fuck am I? Where am I? This is nowhere near where we were. So I guess we need to save a lot more often. <laughs> Kill my 
myself. I actually should kill myself now. <laughs> drop those like that. Well, actually, you can. It actually seems to have saved most of my inventory anyway, though. Oh, so goofy. You didn't actually get anything off, I would have got a save. <sighs> Alright, let's just get our horse. No doubt it's gonna take a few hours, maybe even days, maybe even years to get to me. <coughs> oh, I bet we lost our bull flag. Uh, uh, info, even though like that should not be something that was lost. Yep, lost forever. Okay, I'll save more often. If we find like a black enemy, then I'll just save. Uh, have I got my have I got my axe back again? No, still missing my axe. I can't really kill these without an axe, though. Fuck off. Mm -hmm. Okay, that actually almost killed him. Wait. The water! Prize ingredient can be obtained from a noblin, so the pungent in the normal food preparation. But stew it with some critters to make a stew. That was too pungent for food. Is what it was saying. A loy a line a lionel bow fires three arrows with immense power. A lionel made bow crafted with rough metal. True to the vicious nature of the lionel, it fires with spread multiple arrows at once. Ideal for taking down quick moving targets, but does it consume multiple arrows is the question, or does it still only consume one arrow? Also, if it's a Lionel bow, why is it so fucking small, if you think about it? If it's a bow made for a Lionel, how can I use it? yet to find an owl to exterminate. Oh yeah! Roasted acorn. An acorn cooked direct by the direct heat. It's natty aroma is amplified. So yeah, we're gonna save because we've got that Lionel bow and we don't want to, you know, 
find a black enemy and just die instantly because they deal too much damage and we shouldn't really be coming across them already. I'll probably find that the level scaling's gone stupid already because we shouldn't be coming across black enemies already. Uh, anything weak? What's my weakest weapon? I suppose I could just use this long sword. Yeah, if you combine it, it loses the ability to do this. Wait, the the wind actually damages trees. Does the wind do your do really? It has to. I can use that as a woodcutting weapon then. Uh, any weapon that needs a thing. Might as well just combine it with this for now. <laughs> we should probably head to the north, though, at some point. Just to try and find the Korok um, seed guy. What are these? normal one. Rain though, our worst enemy. Come on, I'm below the fucking cliff. I need a portable plank so I can just place a portable plank on top of cliffs. Hey, I think we're actually in the same spot we were in last time, maybe. Now we're on a different cliff side, I'm pretty sure. No, I think this is the other side of the cliff side we were just on. Nah, it can't be. And I don't see the Monoblin, so it looks different water. Okay, so we can chop down this tree if we use this sword. Anything of value in the water, though. What's that noise? Very far in the water. Oh, tuna. No, trout. Sizzle trout. Red trout that performs warm bodies water. Its special organ is good for storing heat. When cooked, gives you cold resistance potion. I guess it's just a hot spring. Send is such a useless ability. It's so finicky that it's useless. But yeah, I'm not sure what, what to do, whether to go for Stanimo or whether to go for um, health, because like we saw, we're still getting fucked by everything. 
Oh yeah, we have no ability to actually use our cinema. We could climb to the top of this hill. Ooh, a fox. What are you doing? Come on, you, you had it lock on before. to what the dog doing imagine an arrow being able to outrun you being outrun by a rolling arrow Rain! Rain! Rain. <sighs> Ascend should be able to get us up here, but it won't. head and throw it out another guy. What? It is a shitty bow! How the fuck did he hit four and a half hearts? There's, that's actually stupid. That is fucking dumb. There is no fucking way that should have hit so hard. It was a literally normal Bokoblin bow. Not even upgraded. That is about four fucking damage. How did it hit so hard? We didn't even get a gourmet meat. How did we not get a gourmet meat? And how, why I forgot to take the picture? I forgot to take the picture. Oh, well, we'll find another one. Enough. 
I think that one can reach it then. I don't know what's in the spring though. Okay, don't don't grab the fish. Please don't die in shallow water, that'll be really stupid and humiliating. Now I can grab both of them. No doubt we can't even use the thing to actually reverse up there now because we've taken too long or something stupid. Some dumb shit. Can I use it while in mid-air? I cannot. Three one time. no higher because you think it's some sort of joke to not be able to go to your actual height that you're supposed to go to. Like it went, it dropped from higher than this. I know that it did. Where was the other rock then that we used? Well, if it's not there, I can't use it. Oh, there's a torch right here. Construction report. Ten pieces of wood, 120 rupees. It's cold from the rain, so I use them to warm up. Nobody's called that a waste. Three tents, 300 rupees. We'll need a few more tents to keep the luggage and firewood dry in the rain, so gotta get them. Let's hope this is in the shade of the tower. Yeah. 
It's not. burn fast enough. I don't want my thing to catch fire. I suppose it's getting rained on so it shouldn't catch fire. Uh, it's not much. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about this fast travel point though. If you fast travel here you're gonna get spiked. <laughs> There we are, see it's gone. It's gone now, unfortunately. I suppose that would have been an easier way up to the Sky Island. thing on top of that helm. I'm not, I might not, I'm not even high enough to get up there still. Well, we could go to that shrine. Hmm. The ice serpent's here, nearby though. What the fuck do you want me to do? Like, I can't do anything with that. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can do something with that, actually. I can actually almost run that. If it wasn't raining, then I could definitely run that. I, 
kind of can't be bothered to get it. It's too much effort. It's not really worth the risk, if you know what I mean. Funny. Better have saved after I use the fucking tower. Cause that's a little goofy. A little goofy. Ah! Well, honestly, since we're on top of the Korok thing, I might actually be able to just fast travel. Oh no, it's, it did save on top of the hill. But now there's a new enemy. Yeah, I'm not gonna move. Just hit. Mm. You know, it'd be goofy if they threw a thing and it hit like the fucking bombs or something, you know? <laughs> it's something extremely dumb. Or maybe had one of those, that might explain it. That would explain the bullshit amount of damage that thing did if it had one of those bows. And they do look rather similar. Is that really not hit? Wow, he is a master at dodging. <laughs> There's two black gob goblins. Honestly, I think I like I should leave this area, but also I don't feel like it would make a difference. I think the game scaled, unfortunately, to a level where I'm just gonna die with everything. But what I really wanted to do is go to Kakariko and like explore there. Do we have any other quests? Like to kill a fur block or something? Like we don't really have any quests so I guess we're just gonna go to Ka Kakariko. Alright, actually, let's have a look at the map and see whether we can work out where the Koroks are. Korok would be... Uh, where is Elwyn Mountain? That might be Elwyn? Or that is? I think the Korok... I think the tree is about here. No, I, this is where the tree is, I think. Maybe. But I thought it was near Elwyn, which I... No, that's not Elwyn, I don't think. I think Elwyn's about here. Like, it must be about here. And then the Korok Forest might be this here. And if we can go there, then we might be able to upgrade the amount of weapons we can hold. So we're going to go to Kakariko, and then we'll go to up there. Because we need more weapons. And we also technically need to head in a direction of one of the things. But also, going to one of the things will just power up the enemies, so what's really the point in continuing, like, the story if, like, we still are getting completely fucked by basic enemies? Like, I don't really want to strengthen the enemies. Well, anyway, I'll, like, end the video once, I, like, when we're here, and then we'll, um, I'll look up, like, how the fuck you meant to do the horse shrine, which needs horse drums. No, the fairy, which needs horse drums. No, that needs drums. Alright, well, next time.